Okay y'all, let's just address the elephant in the room right now. I got an LPI photo facial, so my face looks crazy, but luckily you won't have to see it that much in this video. Okay, we've got some beauty blenders here. This is a three pack for $5.99. We've got like a little Christmas ornament type of three pack for $5.99. This one looks new. I don't think I've seen this before. This is a four pack, but it has suction cups on the back and it's $5.99. And then they have it in different colors too. You've got a huge thing oh a huge thing right here for $9.99 and then I saw this this is really cute it's smaller than the ones that I have but this container is $12.99 okay we've got some real techniques brushes over here these are limited edition this is the contour 004 brush this is gonna be $2.99 and then we have a powder brush this is 003 and it is $3.99 and we have another real techniques this is a powder plus cream highlighting brush and this one is $2.99 and then we've got some other brush sets over here this has a nice travel case i think we've seen something similar to this last week this is $9.99 and then we've got some it cosmetics which i'm pretty sure we've seen already for $14.99 okay so we've seen this a ton of times this is still $16.99 and then we've seen this a lot too. Um, this is $9.99 for the Bare Minerals. This is in Oak too. I think this is a foundation. Yep, powder foundation. They've got some highlighters. We saw we saw this last week, um, the shade Joy. It was actually really, really pretty. Um, $9.99 for that one. And then it looks like we've got some Morphe over here. Brontour, which we saw um, Frenemy. And this is $6.99. And then we've got it in Bloom High Compact Highlight, High Impact Highlighter, $6.99. And then we've got a few different shades, Fantabulous and Vlogger. Okay, here are the shades so you can see them. This is the Frenemy. This is Glitterati. And then this one is Fantabulous. The Vlogger one was actually completely smashed. Okay, I know we've seen these a number of times. This one is the Liquid Lip Set, and it's actually on sale for $39 right now. And then this one is the Lip Gloss, and it's also on sale for $39 right now. We have a little Julep Set over here. These are actually pretty shades. I feel like we've seen this before. This is $3.99. And then we've got a Physician's Formula, which I feel like is kind of an underrated brand when it comes to makeup but this is $6.99 I think this would actually be a really great Christmas gift for somebody um, I really love this brand and then oh we've got a little rack over here what's this one I think we've seen this before because I know a lot of places have had this but this one is $19.99 shimmer and matte eyeshadow palette and then we've got some other eyeshadows that we've seen before i don't i feel like we haven't seen this one um it looks very cheap honestly like something for children almost that highlighter looks really nice i would like to swatch that i'm not gonna lie um but these are 6.99 and they have a few they have two different ones and then oh we've got some more physicians formula it's broken sadly 3.99 this is like a nice um nice new oh, that's broken too nice neutral palette though we saw this, um, uh, the last TJ Maxx we were at, Wispies. This is $7.99.
Okay, we have an Anastasia Metallic Liquid Lip Set. This is going to be $12.99. And then we still have Stargazer, which we've seen a number of times from Anastasia for $6.99. And, oh, I think this is probably, I don't know what shade this is. Yep, just doesn't have a box. And we've got a Laura Mercier um, Coral New shade in $9.99. And then we've seen these bronzers a lot. Like every time we come, we see those. We have what I would call Chihuahua, but apparently it's Chihuahua. I say it like a Hawaiian. And this is a lip gloss that I showed in my last video because I did buy that one. And then, oh, we saw all of these last time. So they have the Lip Gloss Fever Beat, which I bought last time for $7.99. And they've got Nepal and a few other shades, but we've seen all of these. We've actually seen all of this stuff. I don't think we saw this last time. This is um, a lip duo type of thing for $14.99 and I don't know what shades they are though but it looks like they're pretty shades. We have a matte single eyeshadow in rice paper frost. This is $5.99 and then we've got some Marc Jacobs um, I think this is foundation and this is going to be $19.99 for the Marc Jacobs foundation. They have a few, no, they have the shade Invincible or Invisible. I think that's it. They only have one shade. Okay, we have a eyeshadow duo from NARS. This is in the shade Silk Road. And this is going to be $9.99. And then we still have this Anastasia highlighter set that we've seen the past few times. And it's $12.99 still. I don't think we've seen this before cream bronze blush it's like a little kabuki brush for $7.99 that's cute then we have this purr palette it's gonna be $6.99 it's actually really pretty this is just the festival palette and then we've got some other ones we looked at this last week this brand and I was really surprised at how nice it was this is $3.99 and then oh that's broken but it is $3.99 also we've got what's in here let's see beauty concepts tools 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 $5.99 oh just some tools in there I was hoping it was like some brushes or something cute and then we've got a oh wow lipstick highlighter set that's actually really pretty this is $4.99 for this we have a glow palette from Nicole Miller this is $4.99 I really actually like the quality of her stuff uh oh that's pretty. I don't know if I love it, but it's pretty. For $4.99, I feel like that's a good that's a good buy. Okay, we've got some NARS products here. We've got this lip gloss. We saw this last time. This is the one I did not buy and wanted to in Mythic Red. It's $7.99. And then we have a um, Longwear Eyeliner for $5.99. It's in the shade Night Porter. We saw that also. And then we've got Koala, which is a liner also for $6.99. Okay, we have a Marc Jacobs bronzer here in Tantalize. This is what the product looks like. This is going to cost $16.99. And then we've got the same Stila lipsticks that we see every time. These are $14.99. I might actually pick up a few of these just because I've heard really good things about them. And then we also have a concealer in tan for $5.99. Um, I haven't seen this at any of the other stores recently. This is a shine sunshine oil. I don't know, but this is $7.99. And then we have a few foundation sticks, um, Golden Sand and Medium for $9.99, and one NARS in Medium Dark Tahoe, and this is $14.99. Okay, then we have the Becca Foundations, which we see all the time for $9.99, and they do have some concealers. I might grab a concealer. The concealers are $5.99, and then we've got the Bare Minerals Foundations, and these are going to be $7.99 for the Bare Minerals, and we see these palettes all the time also, and then we also have seen these foundations from Bare Minerals as well. They still the chocolate bar palette down here 
That's going to be $19.99, and we've all seen these. This is actually reduced to $16 now, so it's significantly cheaper than it was. We have some Buxom Sexy Smoky Powder Liner, $6.99. This is in Smoldering Brown. There's also a Sultry Black back there. Okay, we have an e.l.f. Marshmallow Soothing Mask. This actually looks pretty cool. This is $4.99. And then I see some Kate Somerville over here. We've got, uh, what is this? Scar Diminishing Serum, $16.99. And then we have another Kate thing over here. Foaming Cleanser for $16.99. And let's see what else we have. Nothing that really, like stands out to me most of this stuff looks like the same stuff we kind of see every time we come here i think we always see this um, and i actually really like this this is $14.99 so that's actually cheaper than if you go to costco or something because i normally get that at costco um oh i don't think we've seen this before uh elf beauty shield uh, massaging overnight recovery cream $5.99 that's like a long title there um I did buy this I like it it's okay I think I talked about that in one of my videos um I did buy this too I think it was on clearance when I bought it oh it was on clearance for three dollars so I actually did not get a good deal um but it's okay it works I was gonna say we have a little shisito here but this is actually empty somebody probably stole it um this is a eye treatment that was $40, $39.99, but that's empty. And then we have some retinol plus creams and some vitamin C serums and gold serums. We've seen this before. This is a hydrating bubble mask from e.l.f. for $5.99. And then we've got retinol and probiotic mask for $4.99. I feel like this is it's really is the same stuff we always see. Um, we've got a cold cream from Kate here. It's only $11, $12, $12. I feel like this would be more, um, so that, I think that's a good price, but I don't know, don't quote me there. Okay, we're in the clearance section now. They do have a few of these Beauty Concepts lipsticks. This is like a little five pack for $3.50. I'm gonna get this for the girls for Christmas. And then um, in like my last video or the one before, I talked about a black face mask that I used to love, and it's actually this one. It says $6 here, but this one says $4.50, so I'm hoping they're $4.50 but I'm actually going to purchase all of these. If you can find them, I would highly recommend them. They are amazing. We've got, oh, aloe and rose water, um, tonic water spray, skin conditioning tonic, $6.99. This is not on clearance. Um, it's just over here. We've got some serums over here, face oil for $4.50, um, vitamin E, $5, 24K gold, $5, um, tea tree day cream, $4.50. Over there we've got a lot of shea moisture products. Um, we've got a foaming body soap for $4.50, and we've got a um, cream rinse something for five dollars hope that's open we've got a lot of hand soaps over here and um, some lotions 
We got a bunch of hand sanitizer. If you need hand sanitizer, there is a lot over here. Anywhere from $2 up to $8 for the hand sanitizers. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I did get a facial. My skin actually looks significantly worse now. So I'm just gonna show you what I got really quickly. I did buy all three of these like I said I was going to do. I don't know if I paid $4.50 or if I paid $6 for these, but even if I paid $6, they are definitely worth it. I also got these Dr. Jart masks that I saw in there. They only had these two, I think, but I bought one of each and these were $3.49 for each of them. Try them out and see how I like them. I did get this. I've seen this a few times and I always just thought, um, I always just thought that this was a highlighter because of the glow and I never actually paid attention to it, but it's a gloss. It was $5.99. When I got home and I opened it and I was like kind of confused, like how is this a highlighter? And then I realized um, it's a gloss in the shade Beach Bum. Not necessarily a shade that I would normally go for. I feel like this is really close to my skin tone and not something I necessarily would like to have, but I got it. So there's that. I also got the Becca, but instead of getting it for myself as a concealer, I decided to get a darker shade in Mahogany. This was $5.99 and I'm going to use this as a contour. I like to do that from time to time. I think I have a ColourPop um, one that I use that way also. I think that'll be dark enough for me. Let's see. Let's blend it out. Yeah, I think that'll work. I mean, I'll need to lightly use it, but I think it'll work for me. And then I finally bit the bullet and I got the Stila uh, lip gloss lipstick in Perla because I see this every time I go. It was $4.99, but to my surprise, when I opened it, I had to like check and make sure that this was actually the one that it said it was because these just look like two completely different colors and even more so in person, they look like completely different colors. So um, I should have looked before. I would just assume that it would be that color and it's definitely not that color. It's almost like, a, I don't know, a mauve -y a mauve shade. It definitely doesn't look pinky like this, like a, it just, to me, it just doesn't. But I got that. And then I got the Real Techniques brushes that we saw. I got the contour brush. This is the contour brush, and this was $2.99. I feel like it has a unicorn look. They're really soft. I like the brand in general, so I'm okay with this. And then I also got the powder brush 003. This was $4.99. Really soft. I could always use another powder brush, so I feel like this was good. And then it's a limited edition, so, you know, at least I got that in case I wanted it in the future, and then I couldn't get it. And then I also, the girls got into this already, um, but I did get this for them for Christmas, and now it's probably not going to be a Christmas gift because I got they got into it. But I'll swatch a few just so that we can see how the um, color payoff is. This was three fifty um, in the clearance section. Uh, it's not. It's actually not that bad. It feels creamy. I'm not. I'm not mad at it, honestly. Let's try another. Y'all, my face looks so bad, and I tried to put makeup on um, to do this video, and it just looks even... It just looks even worse. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't say, like, oh, I love these lipsticks, but, you know, for $3.50 for five lipsticks, I feel like, you know, you can't really complain about that. Um, and the girls are probably just going to destroy them anyway, so... I'll just give them to them now since they've destroyed the box that it would have came in anyway. Um, but that's all the stuff we got. Hopefully next week my face will look better and you'll be able to see me.